Yeah, we're switching sports now from tennis to cricket. Mariah has remained in Port of Spain for the TNT leg of the Caribbean Premier League, sponsored by Republic Bank. She had a sit-down with former New Zealand cricketer, now commentator, and a man who often describes the Jamaica franchise as the Jamaica Taliwas. Here's Mariah with the excitable Danny Morrison. There you go, mate. This is what Dalton's about. Powerful, clinical, and can find the fence regularly. So a man that needs no introduction, Danny Morrison. A lot of love for you here in the Caribbean. Talk to me about <laughs> what got you started in CPL. You've been around and the people here, they love you. You're saying, you're saying I'm old. I've been around, been around a long time. You're right, as much as the stadium. Uh, this place is incredible, Mariah. It really is. And I think I was really grateful this started back in 2013. And so um, obviously jumped at the chance, the opportunity. Feel very grateful to keep coming back year after year um, and as we keep saying it, it's so unique here the music the vibe the food you know the entertainment factor about with all the cricket uh, makes our job a lot easier um, you think about getting in the swimming pool at some kits and having a bit of fun there uh, the Trini posse here in the stands here because this is uh, another unique theatre uh, that makes the Caribbean Premier League and the thing about you is you bring a very light element. Cricket, as much as we have fun, T20 format, you know, CPL, the biggest party in sport. We <laughs> like to drink, we like to dance, we like to have a good time. Talk to me about that element. Is it based on your personality or are you putting on a shoe? No, I think, yeah, look, it's part of who I am, really, yeah. And, and I, I've mentioned this a lot before. When I was growing up, my mother took me to drama classes in between sport. So... Uh, in terms of having fun in front of the camera and embracing it as if it was like you know just talking to mum on the phone at home yeah. uh, it comes quite naturally for me because as a youngster growing up doing pantomime and having fun um, that's what it was about too so for me here I just think you can yes you can get a little bit theatrical and get a little bit up and what have you and you know dancing with the cheerleaders and lifting them up and then lifting me up and hurting me but really um, it, it, it is about fun and it really is a great tournament uh, based on the time that you've been with CPL, what has been your most favourite memory? My most favourite memory? Um, I suppose from a cricket perspective, there was a guy at St Kitts taking a one-handed catch and didn't spill his drink. What? And then his, and then his girlfriend came over, and she was shaking him, and he still held on to his drink on the ball. So, from a cricket perspective, that is very fond memory. Um, and I think here, yeah, you know, I love getting involved with the crowd, having a great time. Um, and I think you know, Gail doing his thing, meeting these guys a bit more. Not only at a, at a cricket toss, but having fun with them and then seeing them socially. And Chris puts on some good parties in Jamaica. Um, we were there for his 100th test match. Uh, that was the second CPL just prior to it. So, yeah, it's been great getting to know some of the local talent that are really big heroes. DJ, Bravo, the whole thing. Winding up Kyron Pollard from time to time. It's a bit... But, you know, we have a lot of fun with it too. Yeah. And so some of it's a bit for show. But for a lot of us, um, it's in the DNA a bit to have a good time and, and, and do what you do. Yeah, and you do a great job at it. I'm going to put you on the spot. Which is your favourite Caribbean country? Uh, the UN, because you're a Trini and we're here. Um, it's hard to beat here and, and the involvement, there's no doubt. But I think, let's be very diplomatic Dan here, all right? Each country, each island, like St Lucia, St Kitts, and you get to Barbados or Jamaica, Guyana here in Trinidad and Tobago, um, it has its own uniqueness because the food's different. Correct. You know, you think on the streets, doubles, gyros and things at night, and then you think about all the beautiful curries that are on offer down in Guyana and here as well. Um, the seafood that's on in, in the Two Saints, yeah. Barbados as well. It's hard to pick a real favourite um, because each is quite unique and different. So I like them all. That's because I can. Yeah, you definitely can, and I think that's the politically correct answer. Yeah. Well, Danny, I just want to tell you that my co-host, Lance Whitaker, he loves when you say Talawas. So before we wrap up this interview, I want you to say it how you say it. The Talawas! Hurrah! Well, that's it from us. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Danny Morris for you. So, <laughs> Morris seems to have had fun there, uh, Ricardo, talking to the, 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 the New Zealander.
yeah, as anyone would, I think, um, speaking with uh, Danny Morrison, um, I, I don't suspect, Lance, that when he played Test cricket, mm -hmm. um, he, he was that fun. No, um, no, he wasn't. He wasn't, I can tell you. He, I, I was shocked to hear his explanation that as a youngster, he did drama classes because now, now I'm seeing that. But as a player, I, I didn't see him as that dynamic personality. He, yeah. he seemed more serious than fun on the field. Well, he was he was serious taking his 160 test wickets and 126 one-day international yeah. wickets. Yeah, yeah. Can't exactly smile around the playing field as a mm. fast bowler yeah. when you're looking to get out some of the world's best batsmen. Yeah, mm. Mm. yeah I quite, quite like Danny Morrison. <laughs> An update, though, from the women's CPL, sponsored by Massey. Barbados Royals just suffered their first loss in the tournament. Uh, the TKR beating them by 13 runs. TKR 153 for 155 for three of their 20 overs and the Barbados Royals falling short at 142 for seven for the Barbados Royals who are already through to the final on Sunday. We go to break, back with more on The Zone after this.